Hey Libra, how are you doing? Welcome to your November reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for the month of November. See what you need to look out for, get you some insight, get you some guidance. Overall, see what the vibes are like. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the info is in the description box down below. And yeah, we're going to get right into this reading, see what is going on for you, see what spirit would like you to know for the month of November, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's going on for Libra in the month of November? What do my Libras need to know, look out for, or be aware of? Oh, Indy, that's literally Libra's card. Libra, your card is out here. Indy, okay. Okay. With the Piper and the Bodacious Boach. Okay, so you have a choice to make, a very important decision. We also have Arvel Lard at the bottom. This card typically talks about communication, sp speaking the truth, truth coming out, the need for you to communicate or speak your truth or like share what's on your mind. Um, oh, we also have death underneath that. This is hmm who had this recently i can't remember what sign but it was these two cards there was something about like the truth needing to be expressed but yet it felt like it was kind of cloaked or it wasn't being it's kind of like being silenced or suppressed or perhaps whatever this is that needs to be expressed is going to bring in some fat change here can't remember who that was i really can't <laughs> i wish i did so, Indy, this card comes out when a choice needs to be made. A big, fat choice. A big, actual, like, it's a big decision. And you're kind of caught in between two different worlds, two different paths, two different scenarios, two different directions. This could be two different people. This could be two different jobs, two different, like, places to live. Fill in the blank. But it's like you have options or you have at least two or more. And you're like, what am I going to do here? What am I going to choose? I don't want to make the wrong choice. You're overthinking. You're overanalyzing. You don't know what to choose. You're like, so this is probably what the reading is going to be. It's going to be a kind of choice reading. I don't know. We'll pull, obviously, all the cards, other oracle cards, tarot. Hopefully this reading can help you make up your mind but so far whoever i'm speaking to you're kind of whoever whoever i'm speaking to right now or in november you're kind of caught between two different paths or two different worlds or you're like you know you're straddling a choice left or right what's gonna be best i don't know <sighs> with the piper typically the piper comes out when this this surrounds some sort of loss or there's something you have to let go or this choice is about letting something go to bring something in or it's like you know you're just feeling really sensitive you're feeling really emotional and like emotionally connected to whatever this is you feel the weight you feel the heaviness of this decision you don't really you know part of you there's sadness there's this maybe even guilt for some of you um sorry there's like <laughs> there's a noise in the distraction i don't think in the background it really was distracting i don't think my microphone picked it up but i just heard someone yawning really loud <laughs> like really loud <laughs> oh my god anyways um yeah i just i feel like this is a choice whether or not to like let something go or this choice kind of makes you sad or it's kind of like maybe head over heart or it just it pulls at your heartstrings um and then we have the bodacious boach and this is kind of like a sabotage tampering kind of energy where it's just like you know there's good intentions but things seem to just kind of like backfire or like go against you or it's just, and I'm not saying that's what's happening or that's the case but it's like that's kind of you feel like whatever you end up choosing it's like damned if you do damned if you don't or like you may be telling yourself that something's not gonna happen so might as well just like accept fate and you know accept the loss or accept the l but like is that necessarily the case i don't know I don't know i just feel like you have a lot to think about and you gotta be mindful not to self-sabotage self-sabotage coming through strong hmm i hope that there isn't like an external energy that's trying to sabotage you or your chances at something that can sometimes come through with a bodacious boach so Let's see, what's going on for Libra in November? 
What's going on for Libra in the month of November? What do my Libras need to know, look out for, or be aware of? It's, oh, it's, nope. It's 3, 3, 2 p.m. Oh my gosh. All right, so Libra, 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 I have a life hack. Okay, maybe it's not a life hack, but this is, this has been helpful tool for me communicating with my higher self my future self through numbers when i so if i let's just let me just tell you so if you have a choice to make right you're kind of caught in between should i do this should i do that okay so choose one of those options and ask your future self ask your higher self or ask your angels right ask your guides the answer yes give it a synchronicity 333 three, three, for example like right now now it's 333 three, three that is a yes a synchronicity 111 12 12 whatever synchronicity kind of vibe that's a yes if it's a no or a wait or hold on or just don't make this choice just yet it's like a one-off like a 332 like i just seen or like you know 113 or you know you get what i'm saying that that is a useful tool i've been using this tool for a couple years y'all it works or like it just it gets you know if it's a yes or no question then i'm like hmm, i'm thinking about this or that and i ask my higher self i ask my spirit guides they communicate through numbers that's a good way i don't know you have your own tools you have your own way about it i'd love to hear maybe what you do in these situations um but that just when I saw the time and it was three three two, I was like, "Oh, that's a that's a tool. That's a little technique. I'm a pass on." So if you're kind of like, "Okay, let's say red or blue," you're trying to choose red or blue <laughs> for some reason. So you're like, "Okay, I'm going to choose red." You see the synchronicity? All right, you better choose red. If you see the one off synchronicity, the one off, mm, you might want to choose blue. So then, choose blue and then see. Do you see the synchronicities? If not, well then maybe you need to just okay. Anyways, 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 anyways. We talking too much. We talking too much. But so just something I found helpful. And other people too. So I thought I'd pass that on to you. We have the turtle, nightingale, and the butterfly. And also the rabbit, yeah. So I will say you're gonna wanna take your time with this. You don't want to take your time. Big change. Change you can't come back from with the butterfly. You're going through this transformative process that obviously you're feeling intimidated. You're feeling overwhelmed right now. You know that life will never be the same. Again, whatever you end up choosing, whatever you end up deciding, it's going to bring in shift. There's going to bring in a big change. There's something about the need to express or the need to be honest or truthful or you got to be honest with yourself here. Now, the nightingale comes out when this situation is asking you to be courageous. It's asking you to be brave. It's really asking you to trust yourself um, and trust your voice and your beliefs and what you stand for, stand your ground. Um, and then with the turtle, this is about like not rushing into things, okay? The rabbit kind of is an energy of being impulsive and just running, jumping the gun, biting the bullet, and just like not really thinking, just reacting. Spirit is wanting you to think before you react, to really weigh out the pros and cons, to really sit with yourself, to really like, you, you want to slow down. I'm getting turtle in the hair vibes. You may feel like, no, 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 I have to hurry. I got to rush. I got to go, go, go. No, take your time. Take your time. If you feel rushed or pressure or like, you know, someone standing behind you, standing over your shoulder, the pressure to make this choice, fuck them. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. But like, you know, take your sweet old time. Take your freaking time. Now, Indy, the advice for Indy when it comes to making this decision, I would recommend give yourself a time limit or like set yourself a date by the end of November, by this time or by this day. I have to make up my mind. I have to make a choice by this day. I'm going to give myself a deadline, right? That's the advice. You know, you can make a pros and cons list, that kind of stuff. Um, talk to someone that you trust, um, that kind of shit. But take your time. Take your freaking time. But you're, there's a lot of overthinking. There's a lot of overthinking, a lot of overanalyzing, trying to overprepare, um, trying to get all the answers. It's kind of like a rushed energy. You can't rush the process though whatever this is whatever it is that you're dealing with you know even if you're trying to search for some sort of clarity or answers or more details or more information it's gonna come to you but it's under you know 
certain amount of time you can't rush the process of the butterfly growing its wings going through its cocoon stage you know hatching out of that like you can't rush the process you're in this whole process of learning how to fly your new set of wings you're gonna figure it out and you're gonna master this and you're gonna be well off but it's just a little chaotic right now okay so just feel a little off sync a little bit off balance it's gonna be all right though you're gonna be great i feel it i know it's oh for a second i wasn't i thought i wasn't recording for a second i was like no but it is all right we good all right show me clearly what's going on for libra what do my libras need to know look out for or be aware of you may feel like something's taking too long and that's what's got you in your head you're like why is this moving so freaking slow or why is this taking forever or oh my god like you're kind of psyching yourself out here you know feeling like it's over before it even started be mindful of self-sabotage what's going on for libra is this upside down yes okay what's going on for libra in november messages for libra summarizing venus for the month of november this the wheel of fortune trying to stick out do we take it? I guess so. <laughs> I guess so. All right. Changes in the air for pentacles, time of pentacles reverse. I see you holding on to things, situations, circumstances, people, environments, mindsets, jobs, whatever the fuck. I see you holding on to things that you've outgrown. Simply put, oh, and look, 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 what's at the bottom? You want to know what's at the bottom of the deck? where we started this entire reading with Indy, two of swords choice you've been choosing to hold on to something you've outgrown you've been resisting this change or you've been holding back from making this change but i feel like change well it's inevitable it's gonna happen everything's always changing nothing stays the same that is how it just is here on earth right that's the one constant is that change is always gonna happen whether you like it or not so change is happening. I see you kind of resisting. Maybe there's also external energy around it. Maybe it's people, maybe it's family, maybe it's your co-workers, you know. But maybe there's other people that are trying to hold you back from making this change. Hmm? So we'll see what that's about. But you, you, Spirit is kind of wanting you to loosen the grip. Loosen the grip a little bit. Two of Swords, Queen of Swords, Death. Change is happening, y'all. You ought to make some sort of... This choice that you will be making in the near future or in November... It, it, and this is during Scorpio season, okay? Because we all got death energy. So it's feeling like from now to the 21st, maybe even the 22nd of November, this choice may be made. I'm seeing you're going back and forth about this, so... And it's about a wish fulfillment. Could be another person because now we got a king of swords. So now we got a king to the queen so anyways i'm seeing like you're going back and forth about this choice or about this decision or about this change but you need and here's your energy libra queen of swords you're needing to look at the facts you're maybe needing more facts more information maybe you got to do a little bit more research okay but things right now with that ten of pentacles in the reverse things don't feel the most stable or secure um there's there you're feeling like reluctant to making this change or again like it goes back to indie like you're just like uh like you're being pulled in two different directions perhaps show me clearly what's going on for libra in november what do my libras need to know one more shuffle for libra in november Yeah, I'm like getting this vibe. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull more, but I just spirit wants me to stop. I'm going back to this Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Pentacles, and let me. These are how the cards came out. It's opposite. It's like spirit is trying to push you and urge you to make this shift or make this change. Or it's like you're being pushed in a certain direction, but with the Four of Pentacles, the image I get in my mind's eye is like you're digging your heels into the ground, trying so hard to resist, trying so hard to like, you know, slow it down. <laughs> that's what i'm feeling here that's what i'm seeing in my mind's eyes like you're trying so hard but you're like resisting your intuition you're resisting your higher calling or your higher purpose tell me more 
Thank you. Strength. And the Seven of Swords reverse. You need to be strong, Libra. You need to be strong. There's something you are returning to or there's something you are taking a look back at. Or Sometimes Seven of Swords reverse is like... This is revealing something to you that was once hidden. There's something... We'll look into that. We have the chariot at the bottom. The tower. There's something being revealed to you. And it's going to help... Oh, there's the Two of Wands. Choice to be made. And then I see after you make this choice, there's some sort of celebration. There's some sort of celebration. Or there's something worth celebrating. Or like the progress that you made. Or some sort of event coming up. Some of you have a wedding to attend to. What? <laughs> That's like the first thing that just came to mind is wedding. Okay, enjoy. I know a lot of people that tune in are from the States. Y'all have Thanksgiving. Um, holiday season's around the corner. Uh, things are going to get really busy. You're going to be busy as fuck. All right. You're going to have a lot of events to attend to. You're going to be busy. Okay. So you do have a choice to make and this choice like i said is gonna shake shit up it's gonna bring in change we have the tower all right so this choice that you're gonna make kind of determines whether or not you repeat a cycle whether or not you move to the next level that there's again some sort of big shift big push forwards with the chariot this is cancerian energy if you got any cancerian placements we also have leo by the way and scorpio again scorpio is coming in through strongly so, I think you need to just take the leap charge right on in, honestly. With the tower to the chariot, this is about you going in confidently and shaking shit up. Embracing this change, embracing the chaos, embracing, embracing whatever this is, okay? Embracing like, okay, I know this change or this choice I'm going to make, it's going to create, it's going to shake shit up. I got to just dive right on in, Okay no use just trying to dip my toes in and slowly ease my way you know that's funny because i was saying i was like take your time libra take your time you know well do take your time but once you make up your mind then just freaking dive in okay dive right on in don't slow it down for yourself once you make up your mind once you know once your mind is set on whatever this choice is then that's when you just go full force grab it to the butterfly right because again rabbit it's kind of that rapid energy and then the butterfly is all about that change and that transformation so it's like once you make up your mind take your time take your time get up all the facts get the courage gain the the, the energy whatever it is that you need and then once your mind is set freaking go full blown no going back okay no going back type shit <sighs> breathe it's gonna be all right it's gonna be okay it's gonna be great we have the star at the bottom of this deck um so let's see tell me about the wheel of fortune what is this change here tell me about this wheel of fortune for libra what do my libras need to know what is this change taking place in november what changes can libra expect what are these changes libra's going through By the Wheel of Fortune, what are these changes for Libra in November? Okay. Ooh. Oh. Ah! Empress Reverse. Okay, Libra. So, some of these changes... <sighs> some of this change is a bit tied into loss, okay? So, there's some temporary loss. It isn't the most nicest. It may not feel fun. It may be kind of heavy this is heavy venus energy also south node vibes south node is in your sign libra um venus right now is in libra as well so there could be some changes taking place in some of your relationships some of your friendships and partnerships and you know contracts so i'm just saying that you may feel like something's being pulled away from you or you may feel like something's being taken away from you and you may feel re um like a bit of resistance here you may be feeling like the odds are against you right now but it's not. Odds are actually with you. It's justice. <laughs> wow, we got Taurus, we got Libra energy coming through. We had the magician. So you're trying to manifest these dreams, hopes, desires. You have these intentions, you have these goals and ideas and visions that you're trying to call in. And you may feel like, oh my god, the odds are stacked against me. No, no, no. This is helping you. You may feel like this isn't though that's the thing but it is 
king of cups and then the king of swords reverse so you're you're relying on blind faith honestly you're kind of going in blinded you kind of go in like blindsided like life is just kind of throwing things at you you don't know what to expect um you may be ignoring some things some facts some in things that are right in front of you maybe your emotions are getting all over the place but king of cups like king of cups and magician your intuition is leading you down the right path you are um hold on let me let me pull some more if you suffered from some sort of loss or something that was like taken away from you or a missed opportunity or you, you know whatever it is that you felt was stripped away this was a blessing in disguise or i'm getting like you dodged a bullet or you know if you were to have if spirit were to be like okay yeah no here you go libra it probably maybe with this card showing up in the reverse it maybe wouldn't have even been what you had wanted or what you had imagined in the first place like you may have thought like oh yeah this is what i want i want this job i want this relationship i want that fancy car but then if you actually went and had it you know it may not be all that you thought it was so you may feel like oh my god that was like taken away from me that chance that opportunity is taken away from me but actually you were being protected and you don't have to go through that so, so you may you may feel like it was like you know um what the fuck is oh my god my brain where's the word like um a punishment right you may feel like oh my god i'm being punished from the universe what did i do to deserve this but actually this is your protection it's not punishment at all but it may feel like it but it's i'm telling you the fact that this is coming up with justice is like no 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 there's a reason why this happened and so something that you may have lost is actually there's something a lot better bigger brighter coming on in so whatever you lost is better be exchanged with something even better okay so just have faith and trust in that even though it may be hard but your your dream your vision your your goal your destiny it's still happening it's written in stone you can't you can't fuck that up okay it just it's certain expectations that you may have placed of this thing this person this opportunity you know it may not meet those expectations that you had in mind or what you thought it was going to look like but that's because you know it's just a little bit different than what you expected can you tell me more about these changes taking place Tell me more about the wheel. What changes are happening for Libra? Lover. So there's, again, like I said, I literally said this. There's changes in your partnerships, your relationships, and your connections. We have the lovers. Gemini energy out here. Mercury energy. There could be some um, new connections coming in, actually. So see, if some of y'all maybe missed out on an opportunity with a person or someone, like, left your life or, you know, fell out of your life or you outgrew or you just kind of went separate ways, it, it's for your highest good. And, like, there's going to be new connections that you are forming or building or growing or developing. Um, we have Libra and Gemini energy out here. It could be dealing with another air sign. But, so, again, lover is also representing a choice and commitment for some of you have marriage coming up with justice justice to the lovers maybe you're kind of are you playing bachelor bachelorette <laughs> you may have options in love for some of you we have the five of wands Ooh, there's some drama so some of the changes that you might be experiencing in november maybe there's a lot of tension and arguing in some of these connections or relationships or the people that you're dealing with there might be a lot of like Ooh, just like hostility or bickering or just very volatile words too like it just it's pretty harsh okay lots of tension in the air we have the queen of cups the queen of wands and then the world reverse i'm seeing that there's some cycles here that you may be repeating or there's a little bit of a repetition taking place with the way that you're handling maybe you're working through it six of pentacles ten of cups i feel like some of you could be moving or you're in the process of moving you still it's still it's still unfolding it's not finished yet i don't if you're moving or if you're trying to sell or anything for that matter i don't think that november is gonna completely be done and over with that's a random message don't if it's not for you obviously use your discernment um your intuition could also be picking up like something isn't over yet or you may feel like there's unfinished business with a person you may feel like mm, I have a feeling like this is going to come back around somewhere down the line some way somehow yeah you're you're probably right about that <laughs> now are you gonna is it gonna come back around this month i don't know but anyways if you have that kind of gut feeling you're feeling that for a reason 
<sighs> all right tell me about this four of pentacles ten of pentacles reverse what is this whole like resistance kind of energy that i was feeling from you guys what four of pentacles ten of pentacles reverse like it feels like there's certain things that you're still holding on to in hopes of change or, um i don't know tell me about this four of pentacles ten of pentacles reversed like feels like something you're kind of trying to fall apart but you're trying to like duct tape and glue it all together to keep it's kind of like you're trying to yeah like you're trying to duct tape and glue this tower from falling apart but it like spirits are saying like let it fall let it collapse let this change happen with the there's four swords at the bottom of the neck like there's something you're having to kind of surrender to or make peace with four swords in the ten of pentacles reverse for libra queen of wands getting forgiveness for some reason queen of three of cups there's something you're not giving up on with a moon oh my god i almost dropped all this ah the five of swords reverse hmm there's something that's gonna leave you like something that's coming in that's shocking moon and the five of swords reverse there's something here that will leave you feeling kind of shocked i just heard paralyzed i hopefully that's just symbolic like bitch oh my god <laughs> i swear to god um mm, okay anyways so queen of wands king of pentacles like this is a very loyal energy you're very loyal to something you're very committed to something once you're all in like that's it like you're ride or die that's king of pentacles queen of wands for you especially when it comes to your friends, family, and loved ones, three of cups. So this is clarifying the, the people that you're still holding on to or the things in your life that you're still holding on to, that you're loyal to, that you're committed to here. And this is what's clarifying the four of pentacles and the ten of pentacles reverse. But it's showing that there's like, <sighs> this is something you've been in denial about or, let's see, moon and the five of swords reverse. There's something being revealed here. There's some sort of, like pain that you're feeling or hmm that you've been suppressing or ignoring or it's like you're putting yourself in these positions and situations that you know are causing you harm but like you keep doing it out of habit or out of hopes that things will change what's at the bottom the fool with the queen of swords and the eight of pentacles like i see you continuing to put energy into this like, you're not giving up on something. What's that Seven of Swords reverse about? Why is this here? Seven of Swords reverse for Libra. Two of Pentacles and then the Ten of Swords. So there's where that choice comes in. Tell me more. A choice whether or not to end something. King of Swords reverse. See, Libra, Libra, your intuition here, High Priestess at the bottom, Pisces, your intuition is screaming at you, screaming at you. What is this? Why are you avoiding? Why are you closing your eyes? You're like, la, 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 la. If I don't see it, it's not real. Open your eyes. There's some sort of, you're like, the Two of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords you're like caught between this choice again here we have this choice coming on up and whatever you end up choosing it completes or closes some sort of door cycle it brings an ending and it's almost like you don't want to you just kind of want to look away or you just kind of want to avoid or you want to avoid this ending but it feels like it's unavoidable right tower it feels like this is something you can't avoid this is something that's been a long time coming um, and like you've been feeling that intuitively too you've been feeling that intuitively now with every ending or every shift every like it does bring a new opportunity new door opening for you so you may be hesitant to closing this door because you're afraid that there's not going to be something better or you're like what are you afraid of starting over like whatever this is you there, there's a fear that's preventing you going back to the rabbit there's a fear that's preventing you but you're just delaying the inevitable, 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 I can't speak, 
<laughs> oh my god. So you're like, it says, take your time. Again, take your time, hermit mode. Reflect, go inwards, take your time to figure this out. Um, but it just seems like you're gonna reach a point where you just, you kind of just were like, you know what? Just this is similar that came through for Capricorn, just like rip the band aid off. Different vibes, different reading, but I said rip the band aid off in their reading. It's like you may need to just like rip the band aid off. Tell me about the, the chariot and the tower, two of wands. So this is where you make this decision, this choice, and it brings in pretty drastic change. So what exactly is Libra choosing here? What should what should Libra do? Libra, tell me about the two of wands, tower, and the chariot. There's some sort of action you're being called to do, called to take. What is this? My deck upside down, it is. Okay. Chariot, tower, two of wands. Tell me about this combination. Queen of cups. Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, with the Chariots, yeah, and the Nine of Cups, okay. You also have the Nine of Wands at the bottom, so Nine's showing up quite a few times in this reading. Eight of Wands and the Six of Swords. Spirit is urging you to, like, move on, <laughs> or, like, keep moving, keep pushing forwards, okay? Even though it may be hard, even though it might not be easy with that nine of wands, it's going to require a lot of strength and persistence and dedication. And you're, you're going to just continue to keep plowing forwards, okay? Some of you, this is moving. This this is asking you to move. Get up and travel or get up and pack your shit and go. Or like start over. Wipe the slate clean. Like literally starting fresh. Like that, for some of you, that's what this is. Um, it's time to progress. It's time to move forwards. It's time to... You know, think about your future with a chariot. This is a very forward, you know, futuristic. We look in the distance, there's like all these different towers being built and we even have the moon here. Again, follow your intuition. This could also be something connected to the full moon in Gemini, which, ha which we have on the 27th of November. So something around then might be illuminated or you might be making a decision by then or like maybe that's the deadline. <laughs> November 27th, full moon in Gemini. I have to make my mind. I'm going to choose. I'm going to decide where i'm going where what my destination is you know i do see that by the end of this month you've made up your mind you're going forwards and it leads to your wish fulfillment and again remember uh underneath the the chariot the tower and the two of wands we have the three of cups so you'll be really happy by the end of all this like whatever it is that you're dealing with or going through you're feeling nervous or anxious about and again about this choice or decision that you have coming up i feel like deep down you know what the right choice is maybe there's a lot of distractions or disruptions around you that's kind of making you question or doubt yourself or you know get in your head but you need to trust yourself and believe in yourself and your abilities and your intuition you're not going to make the wrong choice i see you closing out some sort of some sort of chapter some sort of cycle but again like whatever you end up choosing or deciding it changes your life from here on out things are going to be very different in a positive way though it's going to be really beautiful really 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 <laughs> i can't speak really freaking beautiful libra so don't sweat it try your best not to okay but i can i can tell it's it's pretty overwhelming but you got this all right i'm sending you lots of love good energy good vibes um hang in there i appreciate you you like comment subscribe i'm gonna let you go libra i'll catch you next week bye